Hi there, so in this video we will see how to save a particular web page as PDF. So usually when you use render function then what happens is it will take the screenshot of your page. However, in this video we will see how to save that as PDF. So that text remains selectable and you can have multi-page layout as well. Okay, now open text editor and create one variable named page here specify a page and then call for create method and then also specify file name equals to let's say demo.pdf then we will also set viewport size okay let's make sure sizes okay now set the width to 800 and height to 600 after that you can set the size okay format to letter and then just make sure that within single quotes then orientation it and then border 0.5 inch all right okay the next thing is to go for page dot open here you specify the URL in dot wiki ar dot org and then inline function where you're gonna call for your paper size and viewport size with the help of page dot render and inside this you simply point for file name okay now can either make it variable or you can simply use along with the page okay and then phantom dot exit so this is pretty much it we are creating page variable and then setting file name to demo dot pdf then report size 800 over 600 paper size letter orientation portrait and border 0.5 okay now open console type in phantom.js sample.js okay so it will save the file in the same directory that of sample.js and here it is you can select the text and you can find that it kept 0.5 inch distance for margin also 800 by 600 layout for the page as in portrait while you are printing on paper okay so this was our short tutorial on how to save any web page as PDF with the help of PhantomJS.